Tila. Što se tiče... So Mansur Medinov of Tajikistan is our referee. And we are underway. 51 kilogram flyweight action in the semi-finals. And it's another installment of the classic Aiba boxing rivalry between athletes from the United States of America and Russia. But you can see the man in blue, Aktem Zakirov, the 23-year-old, is boxing for the Russian Boxing Federation. That's why you see the Russian Body Boxing Federation's logo on the graphic rather than the flag of Russia. And immediately, we've just started, 20 seconds in, has time been called? Yes, it has, because Zakirov pointing down to his boot and the right shoelace needs some attention. So Aktem Zakirov, the reigning two-time national champion of Russia, facing off against Roscoe Hill, who is waiting patiently in the neutral corner. Well, I think the manner in which this shoelace is untied, I'm not sure Zakirov's going to be able to get it off once the bell sounds to conclude the contest. That has been buckled up tightly. <laughs> and on the resumption, <laughs> the man in blue comes out with a leaping left hook as Roscoe Hill tries to establish the distance, and that is what he's done so effectively in this tournament. But Zakirov is so adept at getting into his own range. Andy and I were in Rosetto in Italy earlier this summer, and you see he's not averse to fighting on the edge of the rule book either, hitting after the command of break. He'll leave his forearms and the heel of his gloves in there on occasion, sprinting back into his own range and likes to swarm and crowd his opponent with bustling punches. Roscoe Hill, though, keeping his composure, looking to re-establish that lead hand and scores with a good backhand there. But look at the manner in which Zakirov is able to get into his own territory once again before being put into a headlock by Roscoe Hill. Now, at Rosetto in the European Under-22 Championships, as mentioned, is Zakirov scores with the right hook, then takes the right hand off the ropes from Roscoe Hill. Right uppercut is a scoring shot from the man in red but he bustled his way through to the top of the podium. And this is typical of how the man goes about his business. Constant movement, and he can keep this type of pressure going all contest long. Now, Roscoe Hill has demonstrated a terrific set of wheels in the tournament so far, but he's going to need them because this man will continue to press. Roscoe Hill with a glance over to his corner. On the one minute mark, he scored with a lancing left jab to the body. Zakirov, again, skipping back to his work, but Roscoe Hill doing an outstanding job, keeping the movement going, maintaining the gap. There's an arm bar applied into the right ear of Zakirov, and every time there's an intervention, and there are quite a few of them because he tends to crowd his opponents. Good two-shot salvo to the body from Roscoe Hill, and again, Zakirov swinging and missing. But every time there's an intermission, Zakirov will steal a glance to his corner, receiving instructions as to how long he's left in a round and carrying out the strategy that is corner direct to him. He's on the front foot once more, but he's being run into punches here. Now he gets into close punching range, but look at Roscoe Hill tie the man's arms up by clamping them beneath his elbows. It's another talking to in the direction of Zakirov as he tries to close the distance against his man once again. The 10 second clapper has sounded. Leaping left hook is a scoring shot for Zakirov after he made Roscoe Hill miss with his attempted straights but a blistering opening round in this 51 kilogram flyweight semi-final. Absolutely, absolutely. Zakirov brings the heat in a way which you very rarely see. For me, the boxer in the red corner there has had a good round. I thought he picked his punches very effectively there, Roscoe Hill, particularly to the body, just backed up, gave himself a little bit of room, and would just slide that left hand down into the pit of the stomach, and he gets it 10-9 with all five judges, and I think that was a pretty easy round to score because you're looking for clean blows landed, and pretty much all of them came from him. That front foot pressure is quite something, isn't it? Because he literally picks up those feet and with those short little stutter steps, runs after his opponent. And the question is, will we hit a tipping point in the second round where it starts to get a little bit much for Roscoe Hill? At this kind of level, if you're in the Zakirov corner, you might think that he will lose the first round. He's got to get to him in this second round and he's got to get there quick enough that he wins it. So into the second round we go then. Roscoe Hill doing an outstanding job, keeping the movement going for the first three minutes. And he is so composed, he often operates, despite being a long, lean, angular boxer, often operates behind the shell defense. Clamps his right hand to his right hand side and tucks his chin 
behind his shoulder. And Zakirov is a really rough customer. And again, that's another talking to from our referee from Tajikistan in the direction of Zakirov. And I think he's going to continue to ride his luck here, roll the dice and rough up Roscoe Hill as much as he can. But if the admonishments continue in the direction of the man in blue who scored with a slapping left hook on the resumption, a warning could well be issued in the direction of Zakirov. But I think it's a gamble he's willing to take in his bid to get up close. Bent arm left jab landed by the man in blue. It was countered by the same shot from Roscoe Hill, who turns a long whipping right cross underneath. Zakirov looking to crowd his man once again, attempt to right hook because he changes stance on the move. Came forward totally square that time. Beautiful left jab to the body is a disruptive shot. And these things will slowly begin to slow down the feet of Zakirov. At least that is the intention because this man possesses a gas tank that is seemingly infinite. Beautiful right uppercut turned underneath from Hill. Looked for the same shot once again, but couldn't find the mark. There we look for it once more. Zakirov, though, not able to get in close with his own offense. He's being kept occupied, even though Roscoe Hill, his work hasn't been as accurate here in a second. As I say that, he scores with a beautiful three-shot combo. And Zakirov, for all of his hustle and bustle, he's being nullified here. And not heeding the command of break, nor, neither was Roscoe Hill. So just over a minute to go in the second round. What a check right hand. Beautiful piece of quality from Roscoe Hill. Like a matador, he just sidestepped. Let Zakirov comes forward and then picked off his man with a right hand. In the meantime, Roscoe Hill scored with a beautiful right hand after he was tagged by Zakirov. But getting the better of that coming together was Roscoe Hill who scored terrifically to the body. Zakirov continues to press starting after his man with quick-footed bursts across the ring. But look at the composure. Because of the contrast in stature, good right hand over the top from Zakirov, counted immediately by Roscoe Hill. But because of the contrast in stature, it's literally about three or four steps of Zakirov to one of Roscoe Hill. So time has been called because now it's the right boot of Roscoe Hill that requires some attention. So Billy Walsh called into action to make the adjustments. Zakirov just keeping himself limber and ready to go over in the neutral corner. Closing 20 seconds of the second round. Beautiful work with the lead left hand again. Good variety, then a straight right hand to the body. And this is an exhibition from Roscoe Hill as to how to deal with a swarming front foot buzzsaw of a boxer. Absolutely terrific punch picking up on his toes, darting laterally left and right, not holding his feet and scoring often without reply at the expense of Aktem Zakirov. Brilliant display by Roscoe Hill. This is superb from Roscoe Hill. As you say, this is a masterclass in how you deal with a fighter like Zakirov. Now, the heat and the pressure that he brings ordinarily would be too much for a lot of people, but not for Hill, who is now two rounds to zero up with all five judges. It's been... It's been superb. He's kept him on the end of the jab at times. He's been nice and loose. He hasn't been loading up. He's looked comfortable under pressure. Every now and again, he'll just pivot around that front foot, spin off and slip off behind Zakirov. And I have to say, this, this United States team have been enormously impressive. I've had plenty of them in my ring. They're all really young. They're stepping up to this elite senior level for the first time. Some of them having to get over the huge disappointment of, of qualifying for the Olympic American trials and then of course not even getting the opportunity to compete and they're, they're turning it on they're doing the business every single one of them well the United States of America sent nine men to the world championships in Belgrade six of them made the quarterfinals and four of them are in the medal stages and manner in the manner in which Roscoe Hill is competing he is romping his way through to the gold medal bout but make no mistake Aktem Zakirov the reigning under 22 European Championship gold medalist will continue to press for as long as he is allowed to do so. Terrifically fit, focused boxer, but in Roscoe Hill, he's meeting a man who is equally focused, possesses outstanding ring IQ, as does Zakirov, but it's he who has been, been able to implement his tactics. And it's worth pointing out that Roscoe Hill who is acquitting himself magnificently on the world stage here. Look at the manner in which he's penetrating the defences of Zakirov and his sharp movement going from top speed laterally in one direction, then changing direction to go in the other. 
Well, it's been a joy to behold, but Roscoe Hill has yet to take a national title. He won the Police Athletic League, the PAL Championships in 2018 at 52 kilograms. But he's yet to occupy top spots in the national championships in the United States of America. And here he is on the global stage, acquitting himself incredibly well. Did you see that? Dip beneath the attempted punch of the shorter man, appeared on the other side and popped him with a backhand single. It's terrific work from Roscoe Hill who is beyond the midpoint of this third and final round. And with each elapsing second, Aktem Zakirov's task becomes even more difficult because he has got to find the punch of a lifetime, the combination of a lifetime, as he's put on the end of a, end of a successful backhand there to turn this contest in his favor. Two rounds in the book, 20 points to 18 for all five scoring judges in favor of Roscoe Hill. Rabbit punches being applied by Zakirov after he clamped his man at close range. He's nodding as if to say, yes, Mr. Referee, that's incorrect. But what does he do? Does the same thing on the other side of the ring, wraps Roscoe Hill on the back of the head with a rabbit punch. He really is a physical boxer. And there's a check right hand attempted once again by Roscoe Hill, who slipped down to the canvas. And while he had a knee down, Zakirov helped himself to a free shot. Zakirov continuing to press, tied up, by the man in red, Zakirov back to his task, but the sands continuing to t slip through the hourglass. Beautiful left hand during that combination from Roscoe Hill, and Zakirov simply cannot catch the man cleanly. It's been a beautiful display of sticking and moving, principally on the back foot from Roscoe Hill, not running, but giving his man angles, keeping his composure under fire, and the final bell sounds which will send Roscoe Hill of the United States of America through to the gold medal bout in barnstorming fashion at the expense of Aktem Zakirov, who gave it absolutely everything for as long as the contest lasted, but simply couldn't pin this man down. His movement was beautiful. It was. It really was being congratulated by the USA coaches there, and that was, it was a textbook performance, really, wasn't it? You said it in one of the previous rounds of how you deal with a fighter with that kind of style. It's, he made it look easy, and it's far from that. Roscoe Hill getting himself camera ready during that public address announcement here at the Stark Arena. And that is because we're going to see him again in the gold medal bout. He takes all three rounds for all five scoring judges and exits the boxing ring.